How did the entire Russia collusion scandal start in the first place? Well, the FBI says it was not the dossier that that may have contributed, but that before the dossier, George Papadopoulos, a 29-year-old kid, young man, who uh, worked in, in, uh, distantly in the Trump campaign, he occasionally showed up at some meetings, but never had contact with Trump himself. And he was in a pub in Britain, and uh, he w got in touch at the pub, or by accident met uh, an Australian diplomat who used to be the foreign minister of Australia. And he was bragging about the Trump campaign, and he talked about how they're coordinating with the Russians, colluding with the Russians, and it was sort of drunken ballroom talk. And that, it's allegedly that conversation that was the basis for the FISA warrants being issued to spy on Carter Page and other members of the Trump campaign and ultimately an effect on Trump himself. Now, how did that barroom pub meeting take place? Uh, this is a 29-year-old young man without any portfolio and anything, sitting down and chatting with the former foreign minister of, um, of Australia. Well, there is increasing suspicion that it was a British spy who arranged that meeting. And there is an increasing feeling that the FBI was infiltrated, uh, or the FBI itself infiltrated the Trump campaign. In fact, there's a report that there was a mole that the FBI placed inside the Trump campaign. Kimberly Strassel, the columnist at the Wall Street Journal, says she thinks she knows who it is, but she won't say it unless it's confirmed. This mole was not only supposed to get information, but he was supposed to set up intelligence traps which would ensnare Trump campaign officials into admitting or documenting the collusion that was supposedly taking place with the Russians. And it may have been just such a mole who snare, set an intelligence trap for Papandopoulos, George Papandopoulos, the kid, and got him in touch with the Australian and then encouraged him to embellish his story. Now, all of that goes back to a contention that Eileen and I made in our book, The Rogue Spooks, which detailed the potential of British involvement in trying to change the election in the U.S. against Trump. The idea was that Trump had opposed, had, had supported Brexit and tended to oppose the European Union and that the British establishment was very upset about it, was worried that he was too close to Putin and was worried that he would sort of disarm the U.S. in what they saw as Cold War II. This theory of the British mole in the FBI uh, could really substantiate that. Now, Nunes, the chairman of the House Intel Committee, and Kurt Gowdy, the chairman of the House Oversight Committee, both requested the FBI to furnish the information surrounding this mole. And the FBI refused, and they threatened to hold the FBI in contempt. And Ryan said, basically, the motion will pass the House if it's offered. And uh, that got the FBI to back down. And they've now, they're now meeting with Gowdy and Nunes in private to tell them who the mole is and tell them the story. And they said that one of the reasons they would not release the information before they were strong-armed into it was that it would compromise an existing investigation, endanger lives, and endanger smooth international relations by the U.S. Well, who would that international be with? Uh, almost undoubtedly, it would be the U.K. In tomorrow's Lunch Alert, I'm going to discuss in greater depth the evidence we provide in our book Rogue Spooks that this entire deal was originated in London. Thanks for watching.